PSA will load it, man. It's your boy, 3-Letter, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Y'all see where to follow your boy at. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk about it, man. Jewels Santana. Formerly of the Dipset crew. Real quick, though. Is there still Dipset, though? Is there? I mean... I know back in the day, Jim would say the movement that keeps moving and all that. That was cool. Sidebar real quick, though. Who would have ever thought this right quick? That Jim Jones will be the last of the Mohicans in terms of who's holding down the dip set banner still in, in, in the music aspect of it. We know Cam, he'll drop a freestyle here and there. That's cool. Um, but for the most part, man, for, for it's been for a hot minute now. When it comes to music, Jim really been holding down, you know, holding that down. Overall, I still got Cam over over Jim in terms of freestyles, projects, memorable verses. Like this Cameron, better lyricist. I'm gonna kill a Cam. But I say to say this, Jewels Santana. Now, recently Jewels um dropped a snippet of a song. There was no title of it. It was a snippet. It was bittersweet for me, right? Because at times, I know sometimes people get at rappers when they take an old school song, a classic song, and they sample, they try to revamp it, try to throw some sasun on it, some sauce on it, and it really don't be knocking. And it was bittersweet for me because Juwel Santana decided to flip Special Ed's I Got It Made. I Got It Made came out in 1989, a classic song. Classic song, like I, I gotta make. Let's be, let's be, listen. Shout out to Special Ed because Rick Ross took the uh, um. The, I'm the I'm the magnificent beat. He took that beat, and now you got Jewel's taking. I got it made. Shout out to Special Ed. But here's the thing, man. Jewel's man, I ain't feeling that too tough, bro. It's like business. I understand what you're doing, and you know what I'm saying. And Jewel's here's the thing, bro. You're 40 plus years of age and you still rocking a pool shiesty mask. I gotta give you the Archie Bunker one on that alone. <clears throat> like, come on, Jewels. A pool shiesty mask at 40? I think I saw Tony Yayo rocking one on Vlad TV. Like, fam, what are we doing? Why are we rocking pool shiesty mask? I'm not walking around to do the blog with a pool shiesty mask on that. All right, cool, man. All right, man. He's still dressed, whatever, man. All right. But, Jewels, this song alone sounds like a 2005 song that you'd have done back in the day. Then the bars you had, Rock One Biscuit Lines, who you still saying Limp Biscuit bars in 2024? And I, I, the funny thing about it, I um, if you go to my Twitter account, I actually... Um, recorded the song and put it on social media, and I, I was kind of shocked at the response it got. It got over one thousand retweets, number one. And uh, for the most part, Joel, I gotta be honest, bro. If you take a look, not a lot of people is feeling you taking the special ed beat and trying to put your one two on. It wasn't feeling that too tough, champ. Gotta be honest, bro. It was not feeling that too tough. The balls was, uh, hey. And you ain't been, you ain't been, you ain't been, when it comes to the music, you ain't really been popping with the music for a hot minute too, my dude. For real, bro. I'm not trying to say Cameron was LeBron James, but when LeBron James went to the Lakers, right? His thing was, that I, I'm a, at some point, I'm going to pass over the keys to Anthony Davis. And I felt like that's what Cam tried to do with Jewel's. He tried to pass in the keys, going to 97 freestyles. Um, listen, shout out to Jay Hood, uh, Papu, Saigon, uh, Banks, and all them, Joe Budden, Ransom, and all these, these cats. But in terms of popularity, Joel was on some big records. He was on the Hey My Joint. Oh boy, like Cam really put him out there to try to flourish and get his one two one. You know what I mean? 
He had the girls liking him. The young cats rocking with him. Always looking fresh to death. You know what I mean? Even Lil Wayne trying to hang around Jewels and them and trying to get a little flavor from them. Let's keep, I'm just being real. You go to the bird call, vi bird call video with J.R. Ryder with Cam with um, Lil Wayne hanging around Dipset. Got his... I'm going to leave it there, man. Even, even somebody told me on Twitter yesterday, they were like, when Jewel started hanging around Lil Wayne, he was never the same anymore. I don't know if that's the I Can't Feel My Face project that never came out. I remember when, when Jewel's and Lil Wayne did um, uh, the Black Republican joint. And I thought Jewel's got Wayne out of here on there. His second, he got, Jewel, Jewel set it off. Wayne had a second verse and Jewel uh, finished it off. I thought Jewel did a phenomenal job on that particular joint, B. You know what I mean? And even Jewel's first album, his first from me to you, like, pe all right. People talk about the heat makers and everything like that. The heat makers got busy on Jewel's first album. So they, they got busy. Yo, son, for real, for real? Jewel's first album for me to you? A strong four mic album. Hey, seriously, Jewel's first album. You go back and listen to it from me to you. Because it came out in 03. 03, I want to say, right? I think it's 03 that came out. I think Jewels came out 03. And we already know, fam, if you're coming out 03, 04, 05, 06, man, God bless your heart. Especially if you're from New York City. Not the South too much, but from NYC. Because 50 was too dominant. 03, 04. <laughs> Son, 50 was the MVP 2003, 2004, 2005, definitely. But Jewels. Joe Budden, like, they were stuck in there because, yeah, they was bubbling, but fifth was in the way. I mean, four mic album, though. I, I would give you his first album, four mics, though. Strong four mics. His second album, was the game been missing? I didn't like that project at all. Like, I, I got to be tall. I know some people do. In fact, I'm going to go on record and say this. Ready for this? I feel Joel Santana's mixtape. Back Like Cook Crack is better then drew his second album, What's the Game Been Missing? By far. By, 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 by far. And ready for this? You can make the argument also, Joel Santana was the MVP of the first diplomatic immunity to the double CD. Who, in my opinion, when it comes to double CDs, I always have, I got Wu-Tang Forever number one. I got Biggie Ready to Die, and I got Diplomat Diplomatic Immunity, number three. I know some of y'all say Tupac, All Eyes on Me. Shout out to that also. Um, I don't have Nas. What was Nas? What was, that? was it Street Disciple? What was it Nas? What was it? I have a double T Nas. That was ass. Sorry, Nas, respectfully. Jay had the blueprint, one and two. I like the curse more than the gift and everything like that. Even though I feel Hove could have made one album with the blueprint, two, and made it a five mic album. He, he really could have. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, man, I don't know, Jewels. I'm not feeling this special ed joint you trying to give the masses, my dude. And even Cam, when y'all sit with when y'all went y'all separate ways, well you try to give a skull gang. Like, skull gang, my dude. Come on, man. Right, right. But even Cam, Cam when Cam tried, when Cam linked up with Vado and thought Vado was gonna be Jewels. That's the Cause Cam and Jewels, yo, son, Cam and Jewels chemistry. The mixtape days and freestyles. Definitely. Because Vado was cool, but Vado tried to go with DJ Khaled and thought he got lit with Khaled. And he was like, come on, son. You thought Khaled was going to ace hood you out or some shit like that? Come on, son. That wasn't working. Rick Ross, you, you thought he was going to be Rick? I don't know what Vado was thinking. He left Cam to go with, with DJ Khaled. Yeah, all right, cool. I don't know, Jewels, man. I don't know, son. Has the game passed you by? You still dread wearing big hats like Tay Rock did back. You still wearing big hats. And it's funny because I was listening to um back like Crook Crack today. No, no yesterday, part of self. Dog, that's a very slept on mixtape, man. That's a yo, dog, that's a very slept on man. I'm telling you, that mixtape is better than what's the game been missing? It's 
I don't know, man. Leave comments at the bottom, man. Tell me what y'all think. I know some of you, if you, if you heard the snippet with um, Joel Santana on, on, on social media with the snippet, I got it made and everything like that. Oh, dog, that wasn't it, man. I'm that. Like, come on. Fly, yes, I'm gifted. Never boosted, never shoplifted. I get the cash. The money ain't nothing. Make a million dollars every record that I cut in. They call me special because I'm a super duper star. Every other month I get a brand new car. I got 20 less plate. That's, that's special, that, man. It's your boy three, man. One.